in this video we are going to look at use of decimals now i just want you to think about where do you see decimals and the applications of them just this morning i went to a shopkeeper and i needed 400 grams of sugar right but it showed me 0.4 kg so there was a use of decimals when i just went to a shopkeeper so when we think about weights in real life we do see decimals when my mother went to a clothes shop she needed 2.5 meters of the cloth so this 2.5 meters was in fact measured by a centimeter scale a scale which was 1 meter in length but also had centimeter divisions so it was 250 centimeters so we see the use of decimals when we talk about length as well or distances when i look at my car's mileage it often shows me 18.6 kilometer per liter what is this 0.6 after kilometer is 18 kilometer plus 0.6 kilometer and this 0.6 kilometer is nothing but 600 meters so my car travels 18 kilometer and additional 600 meters per liter on an average so when we talk about different units we come across decimals so let's solve few problems so let's say if my car traveled 5429 meters how many kilometers are there while converting this into kilometers we must remember that 1000 meters is equal to 1 kilometers so if we divide both sides by 1000 i can say that 1 meter is equal to 0 0.001 kilometer isn't it so how i like to convert this is that since i know 1000 meters is 1 kilometer i like to write thousands separately and rest of the number separately because i can see that 5000 meters is 5 kilometers plus 429 by 1000 kilometers right because i am dividing by 1000 and then i can write that meter unit in kilometers after dividing by 1000 so this part goes in as a decimal so 5 plus 0 0.429 kilometers or rather 5.429 kilometers so let's solve another question how 330 grams of sugar will be displayed on a kilogram scale so this kilogram scale is like this the unit that it uses is kg and i want to know what is the number that it will display if i buy 330 grams and the shopkeeper weighs it now let's remember 1000 gram is equal to 1 kilogram if i divide both sides by 1000 i can write 1 gram is equal to 1 by 1000 kilogram but i have 330 such grams so if i multiply both sides by 330 i get 330 gram is equal to 330 divided by 1000 kg this is nothing but 0 0.330 kg and so the number which will be displayed on the weighing scale would be 0 0.330 kg and this is how we can convert different units and use them in real life now let's compare the two units here 0 0.8 liters or 80 milliliters which is greater again we need to remember that 1000 milliliters is equal to 1 liter first thing that we need to do is to convert them into the same unit so now since we have 1000 ml equal to 1 liter we can divide both sides by 1000 and we can write 1 ml is equal to 1 by 1000 liter and now if we multiply both sides by 80 we have 80 ml is equal to 80 divided by 1000 liter 80 divided by 1000 can be written as 0 0.080 liter because 80 has the denominator 1000 since we have 80 milliliters to be equal to 0 0.08 liters we can compare it with the 0 0.8 liters and we see that 0 0.8 liters is larger than 0 0.080 liters since the number immediately next to the decimal point is 8 here but here it is 0 and it is greater than 0 and therefore 0 0.8 liters is greater than 80 milliliters 